Welcome to the second TDC Adonogram control video. In this demonstration, we're going to be showing how to programmatically add um, amalgam fillings to teeth on various surfaces. Now, because this demonstration uh, picks up where the last one left off, all we're going to do is add a button to our page, and we're just going to add in a handler to the click event of that button. And then in the uh, code behind of the page, we're just going to add in some logic to add an amalgam uh, filling to the very first tooth on the odonogram. So we're going to first create an instance of our tooth surface info object, and this basically allows us to associate uh, one or more surfaces with a tooth. And in order to define the tooth, we'll use the first tooth in our um, odonogram uh, current teeth property, um, and that will affect tooth one in the universal uh, notation system. And I'm just going to add in three surfaces here. Um, the argument uh, for the tooth surface info uh, constructor takes a, a tooth surface uh, per, a parameter. So we can add one or more surfaces at this time. And now we're going to call the modify teeth method of the, of the odonogram. And we're going to pass in the um, amalgam element and our tooth surface info uh, instance. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and run the project. And now when the odonogram appears, we can click our add um, amalgam button and we should see that uh, the amalgam filling is visually rendered on tooth one. Now that just to further demonstrate how we can uh, modify the surfaces here, I'm just going to remove the central occlusal um, tooth surface and I'm going to run the project again. And now when we click our add amalgam button, we will have uh, an amalgam filling rendered on just the mesial and distal surfaces of the tooth. And I'll demonstrate how to affect uh, more than one tooth, and I'll just do that in a quick and dirty way. I'm just going to create three distinct instance, instances of the uh, tooth surface info object here. And I'm just going to change the, uh, the array index on our uh, current teeth property. So we'll be affecting uh, tooth uh, one, two, and three. And again, to the modify teeth uh, method, I'm going to just change the arguments and pass in the other two instances of our tooth uh, surface info objects. Now, when we click our add amalgam button, you can see that the amalgam has been added to the first three teeth. Okay, and now I'm going to, going to demonstrate how to modify teeth in a more visual way. Um, and we're going to do that by using our surface uh, selector control, which ships with the odonogram control. So we're just going to add a surface selector control to our page. And you're going to see the base rendering of this control, which isn't very pretty, but it can be stylized using uh, standard uh, XM or XAML uh, style sheets. So now what we're going to do is we're simply going to call our donograms modify teeth method, but this time we're just going to pass in the element that we want to add. And that again is going to be our amalgam element. And now we're going to uh, run the project. We're going to use the donogram now to select the teeth. And we're going to use our surface selector uh, control to actually specify what surfaces we want to affect. And now we're going to click our add amalgam button, but this time we're going to get an error. Um, and that is because we have not yet bound the surface selector to the odonogram. And that is what you have to do in order to have them work in conjunction with each other. So we're going to go to our XAML and we're basically going to use um, element binding to bind the surface selector instance, which in this case is called surface selector one, to the surface selector property of our odonogram. Okay, so now when we uh, run the project and select the, four, the uh, same four teeth and use our surface selector to specify services, you can see that everything goes the way it should and we have our amalgam um, images rendered uh, correctly. Now just to, uh, to enhance the demonstration a bit, I'm going to add in some logic here to, to clear the uh, donogram selection and the surface selector um, selected surfaces. 
And we do that by calling the clear method on, on both controls. So all we're doing here is that after we add the amalgam element, we're going to reset um, the selected um, teeth and we're going to reset the selected surfaces. So let's go ahead and pick a couple teeth, pick some surfaces, click add amalgam. You can see the uh, amalgams are rendered, but now the selections are cleared, which allows us to proceed and select more teeth with different surfaces. And there you go. So that's it, and that uh, concludes our uh, second uh, how-to video for the TDC uh, Donogram control.